Well, hi, everyone. I'm Andy Asher, editor of Bloomer Boomer. Now, high achievers are a fascinating lot, aren't they? You know, we wonder about what makes them push so much harder to achieve when others simply don't have the same desire or are just not capable of reaching such heights, whether the achievement is in a career or simply an amazingly productive life. We will all get acquainted with my next guest, whom I don't know personally, but I have read about him and I have learned a lot from his rise to the top of the corporate world and his achievements of today. We will speak to Tom Madden. Now, I don't know his age, but his life experiences put him up there, I would guess, in the baby boomer generation or beyond. He's been called the quintessential spin man, the title of his memoir. We'll talk to Tom in just a moment. Now, this is part of the Plus 50 Good Life movement, a project of bloomerboomer.com, where we bring stories and ideas from authors, thought leaders, and inspirational people. It's a movement for new and evolving things that make for a Plus 50 Good Life. Now, the shows are about what's working and what's not, and how to make the best of it. And in the end, hopefully something you can take away for yourself. Our guests are idea and thought leaders, experts, people with life experiences to emulate, folks with a unique expertise, or those that give us one of those aha moments or a revelation that can suddenly transform the complex and the bewildering into the understandable. And among those is our guest today, Tom Madden, author, blogger, and businessman. We will be back with Tom just right after this. Well, hello, Tom. Tom Madden, you know, I said in the intro that I, uh, I don't know you, but we did have the uh, enjoyment of talking a little bit together and getting to know a little bit more about you. But I want to introduce our audience uh, to you. Are you there, Tom? I'm here, Andy. Okay, and you were you were so uh, motionless that I wasn't sure, but uh, uh, I know that you're a blogger and a f the founder and chairman of a transmedia group, and you're an inventor and an, an awful lot of other things. I uh, I love uh, I love your your motivation and your desire to keep on keeping on, and uh, you know, Tom, what drives you? <laughs> Well, you know, it's it's I guess it's ex exploration. I just like to see the next uh, you know landmass that we're approaching, and uh, and and it's the uh, surprise and uh, exhilaration of discovery. You know, well, I guess those are the things that go into it. And then uh, as you get older, it's all money. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, I, I, you know, though, so, something tells me, Tom, that you really don't need it. Yeah, let me tell you something about money. It's, it's, uh, it's not what it can purchase. It, what it represents. It's a, uh, it's a way of keeping score. And uh, did you ever go into a casino and you see the blackjack table? The guy who catches your eyes is the guy who has the most chips in front of him. And that's what money is. I mean, it's, uh, it, you know, it's a measure of uh, success, achievement. And uh, after a while, it's meaningless after you reach a certain amount of money, but uh, you still uh, use it as a measure of, uh, you, you know, uh, how, how you're succeeding. So that's what money represents, but that, it is motivating to earn money, and uh, and I and I'm all for it. Yeah. Well, we were chatting a little bit earlier about uh, about uh, things such as age, and uh, you brought up the point that you know really age is insignificant, which I totally agree. Uh, how do you uh, how do you function, or how do you think about that in um, our society that is very age conscious and and uh if you let out you can let out some secrets if you want <laughs> <laughs> well you know it's uh <clears throat> I, i'm a little reticent about uh age because it's not a it's not a selling factor that's for sure you don't go into a sales meeting and saying uh, i'm the oldest guy here you know that's not going to win you a lot of points uh people are looking to youth today because they see um uh, the enterprise, the 
the, they see young people starting, you know, amazing companies. So there is a, this connection with youth and enterprise and achievement and discovery and all that. Uh, but when you're at a certain age, uh, it, it gets more difficult to, you know, to impress. Uh, yet I have managed to stay, uh, you know, involved. And uh, like many of my friends of my age uh, who have quit the Internet and don't, don't even use email, it's amazing, but uh, no, I've stayed with it. I've gone from the typewriter to the electric typewriter, you know, to the uh, keyboard, uh, and now I'm up with just about everything you could think of in social media. And so I've kept alert, and that has kept me sort of youthful. So I think that, you know, if you want to just stay young and feeling youthful, you need to keep up with technology. And you need to hang around with young people. Yeah, I think that's so. Uh, but isn't it? It's kind of be nice to to hang out with people who are our age, and just be as excited as if you're hanging out with a young person about some of these new advances. Well, you would think so, but most of the people uh, my age uh, are not working. Uh, you know, nine to five. Uh, they're not still running their businesses. They're out in the golf course. They're sitting around the swimming pool, uh, or they're going to the doctor's offices, and uh, they're not really as engaged. Uh, and that's the problem because I find most of the people that I uh, hang out with and uh, relate to are much younger than me. So. I don't know if that's a good thing. Uh, maybe it is because, you know, it's kept me uh, uh, energetic, motivated. And I'm not so sure I want to sit at the swimming pool talking about my latest, uh, you know, uh, results from my x-ray. Yeah, I, I share everything you're saying there, and you and I aren't going to settle the reasons for that or change uh, anybody's habits, uh, uh, and uh, I wish I could, but I, I don't think we'll be able to, uh, but maybe we will. I mean, part of what uh, Bloomer Boomer is, it's, it's the plus 50 good life movement, and uh, really what we do is uh, bring out the uh, opportunities there are, even though that uh, things are different. Uh, you know, we've been around a while, and uh, things are different. So it doesn't mean, though, that uh, you can't still have the excitement uh, in life that you bring out. And, uh, you know, it's, it's great to hear that. And uh, uh, I hope that there's not something unique about you that nobody else has, but, but there's no reason to slow down, and you certainly haven't. So uh, tell us a little bit about the Spin Man. Yeah, I'll tell you about the Spin Man, you know, but as, as we're talking about age, you know, just this week we signed a new client. Uh, it's a publisher of, a, of an upscale uh, glossy magazine here in South Florida called Fabulously 50. Boy, I'd like to give her a plug because, uh, you know, she is covering the 50 plus demographic. Uh, and looking at uh, people like ourselves who are active, achieving, inventing, experimenting, uh, and thriving, uh, you know, and covering it in her very beautiful magazine. I'll have to send you a copy of it. So uh, yeah, I think maybe, I've uh, I think I've heard of that. Uh, I've, I've seen it. Uh, I think she has a blog and uh, she's on the internet and uh, probably a good place to to have a magazine like that down there. And I don't know if uh, I, you're from Florida. I know I, I, I've only visited there a few times, uh, but it sounds like you've got a good uh, audience of, of people down there. And we have, uh, a, few, what? We have a few we have a few seniors living in <laughs> Florida. So, so I've heard. So I've heard. <laughs> uh, so listen, uh, you know, we could go and talk a lot about your uh, experiences uh, uh, with Fred Silverman and with, uh, with, with television and all that, but uh, that's the past, and uh, while it uh, has affected you in your thinking towards the future, I think probably looking at what you're doing and what inspires you now is, uh, is a great message, and uh, 
the book you uh, the book you have is that a reflection on the things that you've done or is that something other than that well you know i'm an author and uh, i started as a journalist and uh, i worked at the philadelphia Inquirer. it was my first one of my first jobs i was a reporter and i got into the writing habit uh, and i've been writing all my life uh, i'm writing blogs i'm writing books uh, this uh, latest book, uh, it's called uh, Is There Enough uh, uh, Brady and Trump to Win the Insuperable Bowl? <clears throat> and it's uh, available on Amazon. It's, uh, I think it's a satiric but uh, you know, meaningful, uh, constructive uh, criticism about the, our new president. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, so it, it's keeping me interested in writing is, 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 is a wonderful way to keep my mind active and to keep my uh, talent uh, exercised. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's just like you have to do exercise, you have to do creative exercise. Uh, you stop exercising, you're not going to be as creative. Uh, writing is the, is the form. That's my gymnasium, uh, let's say, put it that way where I like to write books. And by the way, uh, a book, I keep telling my clients, you know, uh, who are experts in various fields, why don't they have a book? Because it, it's such a wonderful calling card to have a book. And I've actually produced books for a lot of our clients. And uh, I have a production book, book publishing company. And uh, well, we know how many people uh who reach retirement have thought about writing and being an author. So you're, uh, you, it sounds like th that's uh, good therapy and uh, a good activity. It's a wonderful thing. And uh, so, you know, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to help people who have expertise, who have wonderful stories. And, uh, you know, and I can help them to publish those stories and, and it's a very rewarding uh, experience to, to have a book. And of course, if you're still in business to have a book, it's terrific because when you're an author, you have the, the halo of authorship and uh, you even the media look at you differently. It's not someone just selling something, but you are now an author. You are, are, you are an expert and you get yourself on shows more readily than than somebody who is not an author. So it, it makes good sense in business. It has personal gratification, but at the same time, uh, it, it, it's meaningful in, uh, in your business life to, to be an author. Well, it sounds like a good message for everyone. And um, of course, as you get up in age, you have more of a memoir to share and more experiences. So uh, that's probably a good avenue to, to take. Uh, Tom, it's been great talking to you. Uh, maybe you can give us a takeaway that someone uh, in our world can uh, benefit by and maybe learn something from a guy like you who uh, keeps on keeping on. Okay, well, you know, I, I was a sort of a late bloomer. I, I really didn't get uh, too uh, aggressive until maybe my uh, late 30s, early 40s. And then I really started uh, when I left uh, journalism and went into uh, public relations and then uh, speech writing and then uh, hired by the networks and then rising, uh, you know, in the network world uh, until I formed my own company. <clears throat> but uh, but my my advice to anybody who is, you know, reaching senior years is to stay active, stay productive, stay creative, and uh, and your mind will live longer. <laughs> yeah, and your uh, book is Amazon. Give us the name of that again. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know what I could put it on the screen for you. I guess you could put it on here. I happen to have a copy. Well, right hold it here. up there. Let's see. Yeah, it. here it is. All right. So, you know, it's uh, you know, it's about the. It's a big book. That looks like one of those coffee table books or something. No, no, no. It's it's a it's a it's a, it's a small book. Oh, Just a, okay. It's only about a hundred pages. Okay. But, but uh, 
you know, it's it, it really is a compilation of my blog, Madden Mischief. And if anybody wants to, you know, uh, take a look at Madden Mischief, it's maddenmischief.com. And I'm writing about all sorts of things. I like to keep a sense of humor in my writing. I like satire. I think that's uh, the way to look at the, the craziness that's going on in Washington. There's plenty to satirize today. Uh, I think I make some points, and I, I get my points across but in, in, the, in the form of humor. And, uh, and a lot of it is, starts with my blog, and uh, it gives me great satisfaction, and I think that I'm, I'm helpful in bringing some perspective and also trying to reduce this dissension, this polarization that's, that it's got the, our country in its grips. And I, I, I want to kind of like reduce that tension a little bit. And I think humor is the way to do it. And if more people had a sense of humor about life, they'll live longer. They, there'll be less stress in their lives. And I highly recommend, uh, you know, exercising your sense of humor. Well, I'm a big believer in that. I love humor. I can't, uh, I'm so happy to have things like Netflix and Hulu and uh, Amazon and all of those other sources because there's some great stuff on to, to laugh about. So uh, Tom, uh, Tom Madden, thanks so much. Uh, I really, uh, it's been an inspiration. I appreciate it. My pleasure, Andy. Keep it going. Keep okay. booming. You too, you too. Well, I hope you liked the show and learned a thing or two. The full show will be available on YouTube and at Bloomer Boomer. The audio version will be available on Apple Podcasts. We'll have other shows coming up with some amazing guests. Please like us on Facebook and visit us at bloomerboomer.com. Thanks for joining us. So long. <laughs>